All right, hey guys, it's Zach with Z's T's. I'm back, um, and we are going to do a little update video and a feeding video. So my first update, my uh, Brachypelma homori molted on Saturday. And uh, as you can see, starting to get a little more coloration, a little more patterns, looking awesome. Let's zoom in. But yeah, I'm not going to be feeding this guy because he molted three days ago. So I'll give him a couple more days. And uh, yeah, I actually had a couple more molts. So we'll see if I can get a little, little video of those guys as well. All right, hold on. Okay, so I tried to get a video of my two nanduchromatuses who just molted over the weekend but they weren't having it they just went into the burrow so I'm just gonna start on the feeding so this is my uh, pumpkin patch and uh, this guy might be molting soon um, I think he's gone 25 days in between molts so he should uh, Actually, no, it's more like 30, and he's been molting on a 35-day schedule, so he should be there. So I'm not sure if he's going to take this, but we'll try anyways. All right. That's why I love these guys. They will eat right up to their molts. And, uh... They gained really good size pretty quickly. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, that's uh, my pumpkin patch or Hapalopus columbia large. On to the next one. All right. Right here we have my Tapanakinius violaceus, the purple tree spider. Let's see if we can get him to feed. I know he's hungry. Oh, there you go. Nice. Nice takedown. It's the best one I've gotten of him so far. Cool spiders when they get older. I recommend checking checking it out on Google. Tapping the Kenius Violaceus. They have like a metallic purple abdomen. And like a, I think a greenish carapace, but they're really cool looking. All right, on to the next one. All right, this next one is my Brachypelma elbow pelosum, the curly ponder and curly hair. This guy is super warm. All right, uh oh, no, 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 no. He's trying to make an escape. Oh, he wasn't paying attention. That's why you gotta always keep an eye on your tarantulas. <laughs> Cause you turn your back for a second, and I mean if you would have just bolted on me, you would have been gone. I would never have seen him. Nice take down. Really cool tarantula. This is the Honduran variety. And I actually have another one that I'll be feeding. I think I'm gonna get, pick up at least one of the Nicaraguans this upcoming weekend. Tinley Park. Got a G Polkra on reserve. I think I'm not. Reserve uh, Salmopoas Cambridge Eye, and then we'll see after that. All right, on to the next one. All right, right here is my Green Bottle Blue. I'm not sure if he's gonna eat, but we will see. He also might be going into pre-molt. Ooh, nice. 
Nice. And he's probably got maybe one more feed in him until it goes into pre -molt. See his abdomen's getting quite large, so and soon he'll be molten. All right, on to the next one. All right, this is my uh, non-duchromatis. We'll see if he's hungry. Usually shoots right up out of his burrow. to the next one all right this is my Torino Palma Sazamai Brazilian Blue um, I'm gonna drop him a super run make sure he's right there okay drop him a super if I'll take that <sighs> ooh Nice takedown. Let's see if we can get it in there. Yeah, there you go. So far, mine hasn't really been very defensive or territorial. If anything, more skittish. But since I rehoused him, he's been out more. All right, um, on to the next one. All right, right here is my Formictopus Cancerides. I'm gonna feed him a, a couple big mealworms. Oh no. Shit. No, no. Don't even do it, man. Don't even do it. Back. Of course, I drop freaking the grains in there from the mealworms. I don't even drop a stupid worm in there. Right. As you can see, he's pretty calm. Just uh, trying to explore his surroundings. I don't really want him out. So I'd like to find a mealworm. There we go. Uh-oh. Hold on, I'm not even catching this on camera. <sighs> Sorry about the camera work. <sighs> well... See, I don't know. I should try and tom feed him. Man, he, ain't, he ain't having it. No, no. Dude, this guy. He's very chill today, just curious. Let's see. 
and he don't want nothing to do with food right now at the moment. Jeez. All right, well, I got to take care of this guy. He's trying to get out of the enclosure, so I'll go on to the next one. All right, so yeah, the Formictibus Concerides did not eat. He got out of his enclosure, not far, just on the table. He wasn't really being skittish or anything. He was just in a curious mood. He wanted to go on an adventure. So, yeah, got him. He did not want to eat. Um, well, here's my Caribbean Aversi color. Um, and I have a feeling she's in Primo. She didn't eat last time. I just want to try one last time to feed her. She's gone... I think 43 days since her last molt and yeah I don't think she's gonna eat again she's not even going towards the prey at all but she made a pretty cool web tunnel in her enclosure but yeah I love these guys absolutely love them Beautiful from early sling stage. Oh, and you can see now she's uh she's just striking at the mealworm, but not attacking it. That's a good sign that they're in primo. So I think this is just her defending her territory, letting letting the prey know that uh, she needs to get the hell out of here. She's right there, right at the edge of her uh, web tunnel. I mean, if she wanted the worm, she would, she would have just bursted through her web pretty much at any point in her tunnel and she could have snagged it. So her just sitting here doing that, that's just a sign that she is not trying to eat. She's just protecting her web tunnel. I wanted to try and feed her. She didn't eat. Well, now she's in pre-molt. And uh, hopefully she'll be molting soon. Alright, well. Guys, thanks for uh, watching. So, uh, yeah. Comment, like, subscribe to the channel if you want. I, I would much appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and yeah, I will be making a video next weekend i'm going to tinley park on sunday uh, like i said i'm going to get a few more acquisitions so i will be doing an unboxing or new additions video or whatnot so keep an eye out for that but uh yeah guys thanks for watching bye